Welcome back. We are going to read the book all together now. If you remember the Bunny My Honey book, it's another book kind of like that. It's about the same bunny rabbit and his brother and sister. All right, my friends, let's get started. All Together Now by Anita Jaram. When Mommy Rabbit says all together now, one thing Bunny Little Duckling and Miss Mouse often do is sing their special little honey song. All together now. We're the little honeys, a little honey is sweet. Quack, quack, squeak, squeak, thump your great big feet. In Little Honey's song, a little honey is sweet is Bunny's special line. Bunny was mommy's first little honey before Little Duckling and Miss Mouse came along. He was always as sweet as can be, and that's why Mommy Rabbit called him Bunny, my honey. In the Little Honey song, Quack Quack, is Little Duckling's special line. Its special meaning is, I'm yellow and fluffy. I'm good at splashing and sploshing. It means even if I don't look like a bunny, Mommy Rabbit is still my mommy just the same. When he was born, Little Duckling came from an egg. The first surprise was he hatched. Bunny was just peeping at the egg when it cracked open and out came Little Duckling. The next surprise was when Little Duckling followed Bunny home and became his brother and the second Little Honey. In Little Honey's song, Squeak Squeak, is Miss Mouse's special line. Its special meaning is, I've got a pink, itchy, twitchy nose and a pink, squirrely, whirly tail. It means even if I don't look like a bunny, Mommy Rabbit is still my mommy just the same. Miss Mouse first arrived when Bunny and Little Duckling found her all alone in the long grass early one summer morning. Miss Mouse wasn't frightened. She just seemed to need some love and affection. Mommy Rabbit soon made her one of the family a new sister and a third little honey. As well as singing their special song, the little honeys played all sorts of special games together. They play splashy sploshy games, which little duckling is best at. They play itchy twitchy squirrely whirly games, which Miss Mouse is best at. They play run rabbit run games which Bunny is best at. Best of all, they play Thump Your Great Big Feet game, which they are all best at together because they all have great big feet. Bunny has great big feet. Little Duckling has great big feet. Miss Mouse has great big feet. And sometimes Mommy Rabbit plays with them, which is extra special because Mommy Rabbit has the greatest biggest feet of all. Thump your great big feet game goes like this. Thump, 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 thumpity thump, all together now. Where the little honeys, a little honey is sweet. Quack, quack, squeak, squeak, thump your great big feet. The end. I hope you enjoyed that sweet little story about the bunny rabbit and his brother and sister the little duck and the mouse and their mom. All right, my friends, we are going to do a fun bunny craft. I'll see you in a minute. All right, my friends, so for this craft, you'll need a cup. It can be a paper cup, it can be a plastic cup. It can be any type of cup that you have at home that you can either color on or wrap in paper, okay? And you'll also need some paper, some safety scissors, some glue, and something to color with, either crayons or markers. All right, so let's get started. So if you remember how we did our toilet paper pig craft, how we wrapped the paper around it, it's kind of like that. What we'll do is we'll put it towards the bottom like this. This can be a little bit trickier because it's kind of shaped oddly. So we will just kind of wrap it like this. It's a little bit hard to do. Now you don't have to put paper over it. You can color right on the cup if you want to. 
but I wanted to put paper over it. So if you do it like that, it'll come out kind of looking like this, okay? And then what I'll do is I will glue it just like we did for the other one when we did our toilet paper pig craft. We'll put some glue on. Again, like that. And it doesn't have to fit the cup perfectly. Just do the best you can. All right, so for this cup, see how we have all this extra? We're gonna cut this part off of the top, like this. There we go. All righty. So now you can see This will be the bunny's face, okay? So now what we'll do is we will draw a face on the bunny. So I am going to use um, a pink crayon and a black crayon. So I'm gonna draw the eyes on the bunny. I just draw two big circles and then I color them in. And then I draw a little bunny nose. I draw a little triangle for the little bunny nose. And a little smile, like that. And then I'll color in the nose pink, like that. All right, and then I'm going to make bunny ears out of paper. Now you don't have to use white paper. You can use pink paper. You can use any colors that you want. Um, so we'll do two big ears, like that. Okay, and then I'm going to color in the middle of these ears pink. It almost looks like a rainbow. See how I did that? And I just color in the middle of these, just like that. And you can color them whatever colors you want. And then I'm going to glue them onto the bunny's head. First, I'll cut them out. So you can ask your parents to help you cut these out. There we go, I got the first one. And here's the second one. Now again, you don't have to wrap paper around the cup if you don't want to. If you have just like a clear plastic cup or even a cup with a design like the one mine had on it, you can leave that design on there because it can be a little tricky to wrap the paper on there and sometimes it rips. So I'll leave that up to you of how you wanna do it. So what I'll do is I'll put some glue on the back of these ears and then I'm just going to stick them on. Oops. Like this. And that's it. That's our bunny craft. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, we are going to do another cute, quick, funny craft. So all you'll need for this is some paper, some glue, and some scissors, and something to color with. And your hands, because you're gonna use your hand prints, okay? So what you'll do is you will trace, or have your parents trace your hands because our hand is going to be our bunny. Looks like that. All right, and then we're going to cut out our hand. And again, your parents can help you with this step. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week so far. And now it's the end of the week, so I hope you have a great weekend. There we go. All right, so what we'll do with this hand right here 
is we are going to kind of turn it a little bit. We're going to bend this one back. Okay. And you can either take it off completely or just fold it and tape it back. We're just going to take the middle one off. Okay. These are going to be the bunny's hands. These are the bunny's ears. So we didn't really need that middle one. Okay. So then we're going to draw a face on our bunny. Hmm. And then there's the bunny's ears and we fold these little arms down like this and the bunny can give you a big hug. Isn't he so cute? This is a super simple, easy craft to do. It's just a big bunny that says I love you and gives you a hug. All right, my friends, you can also make feet if you wanted to for the bunny, or you could leave it just like this, however you'd like to do it. I hope you enjoyed this craft. All right, friends, we are going to do our dance and freeze game. Are we ready? Move your lion paws, roar. Swing like a monkey. Fly. Head, hips and knees. And do the animals dance and freeze. Dance like a cheetah. Oh, roar. Dance like a cheetah. Run, run. Good job. Dance like a cheetah and freeze. Dance like an elephant. Stomp, stomp. Dance like an elephant. Stomp, stomp. Dance like an elephant with me. Dance like an elephant and freeze. Like a Ready? We're gonna dance stretch, like a giraffe stretch, and stretch and stretch. Dance like a giraffe. Stretch, giraffe, stretch. Dance like a giraffe with me. Dance, dance like, like a, a giraffe, giraffe and freeze. Good job. Move your lion paws. Roar. Move your monkey arms. Swing. Move your head, hips and knees, and do the animal dance and freeze. Dance like a crocodile. Chomp, chomp like a crocodile. Dance like a crocodile. Chomp, chomp. Dance like a crocodile with me. Dance, dance like, like a crocodile, crocodile and, and freeze. freeze. Dance like a gorilla. Thump, thump. Dance, Dance like, like a gorilla. gorilla. Thump, thump, thump. Dance like a gorilla with me. Dance, Dance like, like a gorilla, gorilla and, and freeze. Dance like a snake. Oh, we can dance like a snake. Slither, slither. 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 Dance like a snake. Slither, slither. Dance like a snake and, and freeze. Move your lion paws. Roar. Move your monkey arms. Swing, Swing. like a monkey. Eagle wings. Fly like an eagle. Move your head, hips and knees. And do the animal dance and freeze. Good job, my friends. Be Fred. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And we are going to get ready to sing our goodbye song. I hope you had so much fun learning about the farm this week and learning about bunnies today. And I hope you have a fantastic weekend. All right, my friends, it's time to sing our goodbye song. It is time to say goodbye to all our friends. Goodbye, friends. 
It is time to say goodbye to all our friends. Adios. It is time to say goodbye with a smile and a wink your eye. It is time to say goodbye to all our friends. Goodbye, friends. Have a great weekend. See you Monday.